Ann Arbor had its first visit from a presidential candidate in about 20 years early this morning when John Kennedy arrived from New York City. Crowds had been gathering since about 10 o'clock last night. The senator arrived at the Michigan Union at about 1.45 a.m. this morning. Some 5,000 persons were on hand to greet him at that time. I want to express my thanks to you as a graduate of the Michigan of the East, Harvard University. challenged the assembled students to work for the United States, and then he mentioned the fact that it was getting quite late and all should go to bed. How many of you who are going to be doctors are willing to spend your days in Ghana, technicians or engineers? How many of you are willing to work in the foreign service and spend your lives traveling around the world? On your willingness to do that, not merely to serve one year or two years in the service, but on your willingness to contribute part of your life to this country, I think will depend the answer whether a free society can compete. I think it can, and I think Americans are willing to contribute, but the effort must be far greater than we've ever made in the past. And therefore, I'm delighted to come to Michigan, this university, because unless we have those resources in this school, unless you comprehend the nature of what is being asked of you, this country can't possibly move through the next 10 years in a period of relative strength. So I come here tonight to go to bed, but I also come here tonight to ask you, to ask you to join in the effort. This university... Your support. 